Mary Kay's with us mm. now. First alert weather. Isn't that great? I mean, a lot of pressure on that, though. It's not seven layers salad and lasagna <laughs> now. That was like dip. some serious. Yeah, right, right, but you right. learn about new foods, new areas, new I neighbors, new friends. As, as she said, there, just breaking bread and bringing everyone together. Yeah, all in the, the conversation awesome. and all yeah. the fun. Mm -hmm. So we're finally going to move this wet weather out. Let's get rid of it and turn the attention to the weekend. It's getting a little closer and we're going to be warming up as we do so. But yes, this large system that was cut off from the jet stream. Well, it's still churning around Michigan, the center of it anyway. We're on the tail end of it, so you can just see a couple of isolated shower chances tonight. Right now we do see those. They're almost hard to see on radar up here in Lake County near Round Lake Beach. We have a brief shower. These are dying as they move through Mundelein. They are moving to the west because they're wrapped around the center of that area of low pressure. Otherwise, the city has good visibility now. 67 degrees, winds are out of the east at 9 miles per hour. What we could see is a little fog in the morning for the morning rush, and then in the afternoon, we'll start breaking that cloud deck, allowing for some clearing as that low pressure center departs. And then the weekend, we are planning for temperatures to be 10 to 15 degrees above average. So that means 80 degree temperatures are coming this weekend and for much of next week as well. Highs tomorrow, we're going with 70. That's our average high. 80 in Quincy, 75 Cedar Rapids, 77 Quad Cities. This warm air is going to be creeping in our direction day by day. So here's how you plan your start tomorrow. A little fog in the morning, middle 60s at 7 a.m. Then we break that cloud deck in the afternoon a bit, and we hover in the upper 60s, but I do think that daytime highs should hit 70 at O'Hare, 71 Joliet, Kankakee, probably 73 for the high in Morris. So future cast shows how the system moves away. Dry high pressure parks overhead and what that means is that skies will be clearing and we will be warming up day by day as we step through time. So even over the weekend there was a system in Wisconsin and now it's just eroding in time on the models because of this blocking ridge of high pressure. So we've had one system stuck overhead for the last few days with cloud cover and rain. Well, now we're going to have high pressure stuck overhead. And what that means is we warm up each day. We enjoy a lot of sunshine. So we'll have 70 degrees tomorrow, jump it to 80 degrees by Saturday and Sunday, 82 for the daytime high. I mean, a picture perfect kickoff forecast with a light southeast wind only at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So winds will be light, skies will be bright, and boy, for that October 1st kickoff in the 70s for the whole game, it's quite nice. Ooh. And then we're going to see 80s linger through much of next week as well. So we are going to stay above average every single day starting on Friday. God, how about that? Yeah. Thanks, Mary Kay. Good change.